All right, so we tested this bike last week going full throttle and 20 mile an hour winds. It was fun, but let's see what it does in town. So once again, we are on the EMB I-100. Last week, we took it out in uh, 15 to 25 mile an hour winds, going 70, 75 to see how far we could take it. And we got 30 to 40 minutes of ride time full throttle uh, in about 30 to 45 miles. So today, I wanted to see how far I could go in town. Now, our town has a lot of um, 45 and 55 mile an hour speed zones. So it's not going super slow. Um, but I'm definitely cruising around uh, more at a cruiser rate and enjoying myself not um, bombing a 70, 75 mile an hour in heavy winds. Also nice and cool, low winds. So those conditions definitely help with range. Uh, we find with batteries, if it's hot or if it's windy, the conditions of outside will, will affect the range, of course. Today was just on the side of cold. I had to slow it down a few times um, and go on some nice little back communities. This is about 15 minutes into the ride, 100% on the battery. Uh, no difference to the battery there. Yeah, so I'd go to these back communities where I could uh, slow down a little bit and try to warm up. Um, it seemed like, you know, when you walk outside, it was, you know, 60 something degrees. You get on the bike and that, you know, that's about a 15 di degree difference. Again, one of my favorite things about these bikes is being able to go through these communities at 9, 9.30 in the morning and not disrupt people not um, make a yeah, nuisance of myself. There's a guy walking his dog here up in the left and the uh, dog didn't even look up and uh, the guy kind of looked surprised as I went by and that's always nice to be able to enjoy a ride but also not annoy people. I know some people love to be loud and they think that saves their lives because people can hear them coming. I don't know how true that is. I like to ride as if no one saw me coming because even when I rode motorcycles with engines, um, people will pull out on me all the time because they just don't see coming so I prefer to be on a bike that's not loud so I know to ride um, the true way you should ride a bike which is just assume people don't see or hear you so anyway I decided to go over uh, town to a place called Dewey I'm about 30 minutes of the ride now uh, again 100% on the battery uh, no problem I love this bridge of uh, going into Dewey the beautiful shots um, so head out to Dewey. This is about 55 miles an hour. So I was going between 55 and 60 um, and getting pretty cold back here, but still a beautiful drive. Went to Dewey and decided to turn back. Um, just trying to get some range. Again, I'm now about 45 minutes into the drive and I'm starting to see um, if I'm full throttling, if I'm going fast like I am here and I uh, pick up a little friend um, on my GoPro, but due to uh, the magic of editing, I can take him out. But um, going, you know, full throttle, I'd see the gauge come down a little bit um, between 86 and 75. And then if I kind of slow down again and go through these communities um, and take it nice and easy, even though I'm going up some hills, it would go back up to the high 80s, low 90s, you know, and stay around that 100%. I love these back communities, uh, our little wooded areas. It's a good place to get out of the wind for a second and catch your bearings warm up. Anyway, here we are at like 53, 53 on the, on my time with my GoPro. And I just decide, you know, it's at 60%. Um, and I've had an hour ride. I've enjoyed myself, but I'm gonna head back to the office. So again, you know, about an hour ride in town before I even saw it going to 60%. Going about 55, 45 on average. Sometimes I'd slow it down to go through the community. So it's got about an hour ride and uh, still didn't hit zero. So I could have probably gone for another 30 minutes. Um, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment. And uh, thanks for watching.